You know what I feel like every time I wear this? Oh, you think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. <laughs> no, just me? Okay. What is going on, geeky gun guys and gals? Well, it is the umpteenth day of the quarantine. Hope everybody's staying safe and healthy. But does anybody feel like we're in the middle of like a really shitty zombie movie? Deadly virus. We're not allowed to see the bodies of the deceased. But I'm just joking. What I want to talk to you guys today about is my plate carrier setup. Some might think that it's a little impractical to own one as a civilian. I, on the other hand, think why not? But what I have on today is the 511 Tactical Tac Tech Plate Carrier. The color is sandstone. And I know what some of you guys are thinking. No, this isn't a workout vest. Once upon a time ago, before CrossFit was a thing, they sold these as actual plate carriers. And that's when I got mine. These things today are going for like 200 bucks. Um, but I got mine on sale hella years back for about, I want to say like 80 or $90. For sure under 100 Because you know, your boy likes to save a penny. But yeah, I'm just going to go over uh, how I have mine set up. And why I have it set up that way. So first let me go over some of the features of this thing. So this is all laser cut webbing and it's actually made out of like the hook and loop material for Velcro. So you can literally put patches, accessories, anything on the front and on the back of this. And this guy here in the front, is a little pull tab. So when you yank it, it splits the vest into two so you can make a quick getaway. Because I just weighed this thing and without the loaded mags, it weighs in at like a whopping 23.5 pounds. That's because of the steel plates. So yeah, if you're ever in a pinch and you gotta get away really fast, you just yank this, splits in two, and you just run, run away. And I don't really have anything on the back here, but every plate carrier has a pull handle in case you're ever down and your buddy has to drag you. But what's cool about this one, on a regular plate carrier, the grab handle's just right here and they gotta bend over and, and pull. But on the Tac Tech plate carrier, has this uh, nifty pull handle so they don't have to be hunched over, they can just drag you from the floor. Super easy to put back in too. And if you're wondering about my patches here in the back, I got these PVC morale patches from a guy on Instagram, Tam Famgram, and he had a series of like good guy and bad guy morale patches. And I got all the black multi-cam bad guys because that's just who I root for when I'm watching my cartoons. Huge fan of the Decepticons. Love the bad guys in G.I. Joe. Stuff like that. And speaking of Decepticons, I have another patch here. Actually, let me take that guy off. So this is just a little drop pouch that I got from Amazon. It's from Emerson Gear and it's called their Armor Carrier Drop Pouch. I don't really keep anything in here. But I do have an AR500 side plate that fits in here perfectly, because why not? But it does have four of these uh, stretchy 
loop things in here. You can put like chem lights or other gear in here. Like I said, I just keep it empty. Next, let's talk about my mag pouches. It is the HSGI or high speed gear X2R Taco Molly. So I can have six mags, but I only ever really run three when I'm wearing it at the range. The retention's really good. It has these polymer tabs on the side right here that keep them pinched in place. And what's causing the tension are these bungee drawstrings on the bottom. I don't really like how they stick out. Kind of just chill in there. You'll have to like, I don't know, tuck it in to hide those. But I do really like the retention that they have on the pouch. Really easy to draw, keeps it in there super tight. And again, if you know me, I got them on sale. I've been wanting these for hell long. And I finally got them like maybe like three or four years ago. I want to say I got them for like 12 or 13 bucks each. There was like a huge sale online that I came across. But yeah, and if I ever need to, I use these front pouches that aren't being used for, I don't know, you can put your wallet in there, cell phone. Um, I've put multi-tools in there, whatever tickles your fancy. And I know most guys like keeping everything in the front of their plate carrier, super flat, low profile. They don't like to double stack their mags. And for good reason, because when you go prone, the lower you are to the ground, the better. But let's be honest, if, you're, if I'm laying down on the ground, I'm not gonna be low profile. Cause uh, your boys, thickums. Moving on. On this side, I have my IFAC, which is the bleeder blowout pouch, also from High Speed Gear. Love, love, love this thing. It doesn't bulge out too much, especially with what I keep in there. It has a little button retention here for trauma shears. And the actual pouch itself has actually a really cool feature. So when you open this up, you see this red pull tab right here. So all you have to do is draw it up and down and out comes your med kit. So in here, I just keep like your standard like gloves, gauze, little thing, uh, duct tape. Yeah, and other stuff to stop bleeding. And also a good principle to go by when you're making your plate carrier is you need things on here to make holes, show your mags, stop holes, which is your plate, and to plug holes, which is your IFAC. And my last piece of emergency kit is my cat tourniquet that I keep right here. And there are a lot of places, like I said earlier, that you could just Velcro stuff on. So the cat tourniquet already has Velcro on it. And I put it up against another, the loop bungee that keeps this all together. And I retain it, little life hack, one of those Velcro cord things that come with your computers to keep the wires bunched up. This one is from Comcast. <laughs> it says HDMI on the back, but it's, this little handle is super nifty because you could just pull it right open and yank it right off your play carrier. So yeah, that's just how I retain my uh, cat tourniquet. Going back to the other side, I have my ham radio. I do not have a pouch for it, which I probably should, but it's just a Baofeng ham radio that I got from Amazon. Super nifty, super long range. I usually use these on the way to the range, not really at the range. But yeah, I don't have one of those like super large radios with the crazy long antennas that like hooks up to my headset. It's kind of just the, like if the shit hits the fan kind of thing. All of this is really, that's how I, I set mine up. And lastly, on my plate carrier, I have the 511 double pistol mag pouches. 
Obviously it matches the color like dead on sandstone. So I just slip my, my mags in and out just like this. Really good retention, holds two. But if you wanted some extra retention and to protect your mags, you can just vel unvelcro this right here and flip it upside down, it'll protect it. I can't do that, I have plus five extensions. So they're a little tall. And then of course, to undo it, you just yank on this guy right here. Super convenient. And yeah, so, so comfortable. The shoulder straps are padded and has a breathable like woven material. And most plate carriers that have that tend to impede on like your shouldering of your rifle but these don't, it keeps really close to the neck. And it's also padded on the inside as well with these channels for, for airflow. It does still get pretty warm wearing this, but all that helps so much. And to access the plates, you have these little tabs that fold over. This is also how you take it on and off with the cummerbund. Put it on, close it up. But the retention on the plates are really nice. That's in here. And then you have another sleeve. that keeps it in place. And out comes your steel plate. So for the plates, I went with Spartan Armor Systems and I got their raw version where it's just raw steel, no coatings, no fancy stuff. Then I just rattle canned on some uh, truck bed spray. It's like a bunch of layers on there to protect the steel. So if you've ever shot steel, you know that there's a lot of spalling um, that does not protect from spalling, but I am gonna get Spartan Armor Systems spalling protective sleeve that they have for the plates. Just haven't gotten it yet. But yeah, these were super cheap. I think I got them for like 50 bucks a piece at the time. There was like a Christmas sale or something. And then for my trauma pad, I went with Caliber Armor's Extreme Impact Trauma Pads. These aren't ballistic safe. What it does pretty much is absorbs the trauma from when it dents the plate or if the round dents the plate, uh, just so it doesn't feel like you got stabbed with a dull pen. And before I forget, the Spartan Armor Systems raw steel is level three, so it could stop up to 7.62, and it is 10 by 12. And Caliber Armor's Extreme Impact Trauma Pad, I got, I think, $12 each on their Black Friday sale. Surprise, surprise, I got it on sale. Yes, I like saving money and getting good quality products, so. But yeah, that's how I set up my plate carrier. This might not work for a lot of you. This might work for some of you. You never know until you mess around with like the configurations and actually wear this when you're training. Cannot say that enough. That's how you know you can stand the weight or Oh, I actually don't like that my mag pouches are here or I need to switch the orientation of my, my mag pouches in the front. I'd rather have my IFAC here. You know, it's all preference. There's no one correct way to set it up. But yes, thank you again for watching. Please stay safe and healthy and make sure you're staying indoors. And if you haven't already, go ahead and gingerly tap that like and subscribe button. Otherwise, what are you doing with your life? Totally joking. But for the would you rather, would you rather go through a zombie apocalypse or an invasion of America? I'm not saying necessarily like North Korea or South Korea, but Walking Dead or Red Dawn. Which movie would you rather try to survive through? Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget, don't be a dick, be a blessing, especially in these times. Like, it's literally free to be nice. Peace.